Hello, everybody. Mm. Happy October. Um, I'm glad it's finally here. So, cheers. It is 1.13 in the p.m., so this is completely okay. Damn. That is tasty. Okay, so, um, October, it is a month that is not September, so let's get crack and lack in here. Um, I can't remember when we talked about it, but I think it was during a live stream, if I'm not mistaken, but we talked about um, reading Dracula, or Dr. Acula. Um, and this is my beautiful edition with illustrations by Edward Gorey. Um, I've shown this to you guys tons, but I love it. So I just want to geek out on the end papers. Look at that. It's so pretty. Let's find some illustrations. Oh, that's like a cute little vase. Cute little vase. Ooh, and then we have our appendices. Um, yeah, now I'm just kind of bragging, so I apologize. I just love this edition of this book so much. I feel like there should be more illustrations in it, though. Because, like, let me see here. Like, the chapter starts are... Oh, forget it. I'm not even going to try. I'll just go like this. Oh my gosh, I can't even turn the pages. Um, this is a Barnes & Noble book, actually. So, that's a thing. Um, and then you have this cute little bat. And a little thing. But, um, in the stream in which I speak, um, we were talking about... Um, like, what books should we read for, like, October and Halloween? And um, a majority of the people in the stream, like, have bought Dracula and never read it. So, um, I think this would be a perfect time to read Dracula. So, we're reading Dracula. Um, and I need to get all my links back, because I used to have links for everything down below. Um... So I'm gonna try to be a lot more active since I have more time now. I'll be a lot more active in the Discord server. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read a chapter a day and um, maybe do like a little video about each chapter kind of thing. Um, I love that cover, man, look at that. So um, I'm excited about that. So that is that. We'll, we will be doing that. And for those of you who like my stuff, um, I have a... It's not out yet, but it'll be out by the time this video goes live. But um, 13 Miles South of Hell, it is um, like a kind of horror poetry um, chapbook here. And I did the cover different this time. So now it like opens up like that. Um, and I took the Crimson Ghost mask. And so it's like half Crimson Ghost mask, half my face. Because it has glasses on. Can you see? Oh my god. Uh, so yeah. So um, that's this. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 poems. And it's 32 pages. Um, yeah, 13 miles south of hell. Um, and that will be available on my Etsy shop, I guess. Um, for those of you wondering about Fingering the Mundane, <clears throat> the proof copy should be in my mailbox within the next 24 hours. Um, so we will see how that goes. And then I have some other things to show you guys um, release wise that I finally got um, but I think I'm going to do separate videos for that so that is that so if you are going to read Dracula um, you can go pick it up 
you can um, just Google like Dracula free download or Dracula free online. Um, it's a public domain book. It'll be everywhere. And in fact, I think I have one, but I've never listened to it, so I don't know. I want to say it's Tim Curry. I don't know, but like Audible had um, a few different free versions of Dracula that were actually narrated by some cool fucking people. Um, so maybe I'll do like story time and like listen and read along and take notes or something like that. I've read Dracula so many times and the big debate between Dracula and Frankenstein, which is like the other mega gothic horror tale. I think Frankenstein is written better, but it's wordier. And Dracula, I think, because it's epistolary all over the fucking place, um, it's almost confusing. Um, I'm trying to remember back when the first time I read it. I wish I could remember, like, exactly how I felt. I remember feeling a little, like, um, confused at moments. Like, I didn't know who was talking. But again, I was a lot younger when I read it, so I don't know if that was just me being a stupid, absent-minded fucking kid or not. But, um, I don't know. Like, a lot of people like the style of Dracula better, so we'll see. So, let me know down below if you're gonna partake in this, and um, hopefully we can jam through it together. Um, because usually when I do these, I tell you guys all the time, like I try to do buddy reads and I'll read the book in like a day or two and expect everyone else to have done the same thing. And then I feel like I can't talk about anything for spoilery literary reasons. And, um, so then I end up just not talking about it because it's like a out of sight, out of mind thing. So hopefully if I kind of take my time on this, um, it'll be a little bit easier. So uh, maybe I'll do chapters one and two tomorrow since I'm doing this video today. And I know a lot of people are like, yeah, you're supposed to announce your fucking buddy reads like a month beforehand so people can fucking get on board and all that shit. Um, I do things wrong. I'm not good at this. God damn it. But yeah, Dracula, October 2021. We're doing it. So... Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, like the video if you haven't, share the video if you haven't, um, run over my Patreon if you want to get into some cool shit, um, and then I'm kind of debating on this join YouTube thing, because I've been trying to do, like, some video stuff over on my Patreon page, but it's kind of a pain in the ass because I can't do the things that I want to do, um on Patreon, and I would be able to do that here on YouTube, so I'm wondering if I should, like, do both, like, do my video stuff, that I, my extra video stuff on YouTube, and then just do my extra writing, um, stuff over on Patreon, I don't know, like, do you guys have any opinions on this? I've never done the join stuff, but, um, I don't know, like, how is it, like, do you have like good experiences with other channels that you've joined? I would love to hear about that. Um, cause I am kind of curious. So again, um, go over to I hate um, click the link for whatever the fuck this is 13 miles South of hell. Um, and pick this up. Oh, the other thing, there's only going to be 25 copies of this. I'm trying to, um, come up with ways to make scarcity a thing. Um, so, for now on, I think I'm only going to do 25 copies of chapbooks. So, um, until I've changed my mind again. So, yeah, 25 copies, 13 miles south of hell. Um, you can pick it up. So, anyway, guys, um, I will see you later. Bye bye.